And welcome back on this Tuesday morning. Not a lot to talk about. We do have some rain in the forecast today. About 40% chance of those showers this afternoon, that is. And temperatures are going to be quite warm today. We're about 73 degrees out there right now. High temperatures 90. With the rain comes cooler temperatures. Look at what the rain? highs. The rain that we're going to get this afternoon. 88 for the high tomorrow. No rain to worry about. That job drops down to 0% chance of rain. Thursday, Friday, maybe a chance of rain. We shall know more tomorrow as that changes and temperatures sticking in those low 60s. Look at that. Not bad at all. Good day to be moving. Feel like a hero. Kevin yeah, and Ward cool. joining us. Cool. Shot outside this morning. Jimmy Gill just arrived. Tell us what's happening in the city. A lot of stuff. A lot of a lot. debating going on. We'll talk more that about that in a little is. bit too. Jimmy's got all the answers. He's already up. smiling. Kevin, what is your official title? I'm the director of missions of the Limestone Baptist Association. And that covers 40 Baptist churches in Limestone yeah. County? Yes, sir. Mm. What all does your job encompass? It's a lot of different things. We uh, kind of package it up into the, my job to equip churches, help them get their job done, do what they need to do, uh, to uh, function in the community they, that they serve. And then uh, we encourage our pastors. A lot of guys, pastoring's tough work right now. Uh, it's a tough, tough life to live. And so uh, we try to encourage Why them. Why do you say that? I just, it's tough because you got to deal with people, man. And, uh, and just the pressure Listen, of I'm life. I'm doing my first <laughs> wedding. I'm doing my first wedding November 1st yeah. in St. Florine. See how Between tough it is? Between a man and a woman. Right. See how tough good. it is? Well, it's, you know, I'm ordained. Pastor work, you know, what you see on Sundays and Wednesdays is not the biggest part of it. And uh, the in You mean tell me Dusty McLemore, <laughs> Tim Anderson. Yeah, they work a little bit. Joel Carlisle actually do something besides what they do on Sunday morning. Yeah. They the do a lot. Is, the toughest thing is toting the, the needs and concerns of people with you. You know, there's families going through tough stuff, and as much as you like to, yeah. it's not a job that you just walk away from. You know, it, just, it goes with you when you walk away. You're saying everybody's so, got problems. Everybody's got problems, and we know all about them. And so. think about <laughs> it, when they're all out and about, I mean, everybody wants to ask them questions. Questions too. So, I mean, oh, it's fun. That's, that's exciting, though. Hey, well, just no kidding. We used to go to the wellness center. We go to Riviera now. We go to the wellness center one day, and I, Tim Anderson, a good buddy of ours, and sure. still running service, always. But Tim would try to work out. Everybody, and his brother was coming <laughs> up question. asking questions. Yeah. I mean, you get it. He's a local celebrity, you know. Tim Anderson's a good guy. And so. Dusty also. Now, Dusty, do you yeah. do counseling yourself, or you just? Uh, work so with we have a guy? we actually have a counseling center there. Pathways has a uh, we have a counselor on staff there at uh, at the office, and so people can uh, do that. We have a lot of folks come through for counseling there at the association office. But today you're up here to talk about uh, yeah, event. men's night out at First Baptist Church Athens uh, this Saturday, uh, the fifteenth. Five o'clock is our dinner. We're having a tailgate type dinner, and then six o'clock or six uh, six forty five is the main event. Uh, Brody Cruel and Tommy Bowden are going to Brody Cruel and Tommy Bowden going to do a great job. Just uh, we're going to do an interview with them about their life, and then they're going to share about the greatest uh, thing in their life. And you'd be surprised; it's not football. And That's so right. uh, uh, it's going to be great. Ten dollars a person. We've got uh, almost over 200 plus high school students coming. Uh, football players are all coming in their jerseys from their their coaching staffs are coming, and uh, we're over 730 tickets already sold. So we've just got a few What's left. The capacity. Uh, you can hold. Supposedly you can hold a thousand people at First Athens, but that's uh, that's cheek to cheek. So it's a big, it's a house full of people. But still have Who plenty of room. Who is Tommy Bowden's son married to? Uh, from son? Athens, Alabama. I don't know that answer. You're, you're the trivia man. <laughs> you're just full of information. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, that, I'm, that was I'm impressed. Every every moment I'm with you, yeah. I'm just a little more impressed. So Paul Irons' his granddaughter is married to Tommy Bowden's Tommy son, Bowden's son, baseball player. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. A little There's a little tribute for the. That's good. All right. Where do they get tickets? Uh, you really? can get them two places. First Baptist Church Athens Church Office, or at our office across from Dixie Auto over there. You yeah, can stop good, in and uh, we've got some. Uh, <laughs> we've got some uh, armbands there. Ten bucks. Get you the food. Get you your meal and the ticket. And that's going to be a great, great deal. But there's a few left, so you need to get them if you're going to well, get them. You couldn't get any better speakers than Brody Crow. You know, the only bad thing I got to say about Brody Crow. I remember watching this. Dan, you can appreciate this. I thought Auburn was going to kill him one day. Yes. They must have 11 sacks. They, like every time we get the ball, I thought he was going to beat us 50 to nothing. Thank goodness we made it kind of back in, back in the old days <laughs> before we started winning everything. But I thought he was going to kill him. Yeah. I mean, just... Yeah, he walked off. He's getting oh, around, yeah. He's bad. He's yeah. bad. All right, again, it's Friday night. Tickets are still Saturday available. Night. Saturday, Saturday night. Saturday night. Tickets still are available. Just a few, yep. Yeah. If you're going to get it, you need to get in, and that's going to be a great time. What are some of the needs that the Limestone uh, Bad Association might need from folks? Uh, well, what do you need? Well, I don't like needing so much. Uh, you know, we're just really, we understand that we're living in a difficult time. We'd all agree with that. Uh, just trying to find a way to help people and help our churches uh, share more about the gospel, who Christ is, and what he's done for us. And so uh, that's my job is to encourage people. 
pastors and churches uh, to stay faithful and get after it. And so uh, we're just getting on the ground. Been here eight days, and so I'm just doing, <laughs> <laughs> kind of moving in today. Yeah, so, so, so yeah, moving in the house today. Yeah. So just a lot of exciting things going on. About how many members are there all together? The 40 Baptist Church. I wish I knew That's that one. I'm dedication. sure there's a statistic somewhere. There's a bunch of them. You know, of course, <laughs> you know, the FBI can't find half of them. So I mean, you know, yeah, uh, yeah a lot of them don't show up. They're in the witness protection program or something. But uh, so do you go and visit each of these 40 churches at one point. I do. There's just a lot of different, different, different connection points. Uh, I feel in preaching for a lot of guys when they're out. Uh, uh, we're available to do revivals, stuff like that. And then uh, just helping those churches when they're doing events or things, um, making some resources available to them. Like, just like with this Men's Night Out, we're helping sponsor part of that. And then the bigger part, our Alabama Baptist State Convention helps us too. We're going to be able to get some funding up here uh, to help us do some really good stuff for our communities. Okay, okay. Well, Kevin, welcome back to Athens. Glad to be here. Uh, Excited to have you on the show. It's so any, chipper in the anyway, morning. Anyway, we can help you do anything <laughs> with the association you let yeah, us man. know. We'll do it. You'll have All to right, come good. back. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks for having us on. We'll take a break. Come right back. We'll see the council president, Jimmy Gill, in just a second. Y'all hang on.